Morning, Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. Listen, guys, I wanted to kind of uh, show you something. I want to share something with you real quick here. Um, I'm out here today actually shooting a video on Pathfinder Phase 2, some of the basic disciplines of Pathfinder Phase 2 for information for you guys. Um, but I want to share a little tip or trick with you today that uh, I found that I think is very useful. Um, I was walking through a dollar store today, Dollar General, I think it was, to tell you the truth, to uh, pick up some trash bags to uh, clean some stuff up the house. And uh, while I was walking through there, I, uh, a yellow label happened to catch my eye when I walked by like the hair care product aisle. And this yellow label said, Murray's Beeswax. And I said, Beeswax? Hmm, let me take a look at that. So I picked it up and I opened it up and I looked at it and it had a very thick pasty consistency. Much I stuck my finger in it, of course. That's the way guys are. I stuck my finger in there, and it's very more thick, very much more thick than petroleum jelly. But it smelled a little bit like petroleum, so I looked on the back of it to see what the contents were, and it says it is made with petroleum and select Australian beeswax. And I thought, petroleum and beeswax together? I bet that burns for a good long time. Well, this is a 3.5 ounce jar. And it was two dollars, a dollar general. And what I did was, going along with the video that we're shooting now on Pathfinder Phase Two and resources and multi-use items and things of that nature and mentality, what I did was I took my stone that I use that's got the hole in the middle of it for my hand drill bearing block, and I took a piece of uh, just I think it was a jute twine and just kind of stress it out and wad it up into a ball and I dunk it inside this thing and you can see where I swiped some out of here not very much I mean not even 1 20th of what's in here probably and then I just took that whole gob and stuffed it down in that hole and I lit it on fire and I'm not sure if I can get it to burn out here or not there it goes oh. takes a second to get it lit there you go but once it's lit I actually set this thing inside my shelter for like five or eight minutes just testing it out while I was shooting the first part of that video and it was still burning in there so I'm gonna take this thing and stick it in the shelter here shoot the rest of this other video and we'll come back in about 10 minutes to see if this thing's still burning because this will make a dandy little lamp for your shelter look at the look at the flame coming off of that and the light coming off of that it's amazing how much light that's putting out and no smoke no soot like a fat lamp no smoke just pure flame coming off of there you can see the wind blowing a little bit it's not going out now let's see how long that thing burns because that could be a fantastic add to your kit for the price of that stuff at two bucks for 3.5 ounces well guys it was 14.17 when I put this lamp in here. It's 1427, so it has been 10 full minutes, and that lamp is still burning. I gotta tell you, that is the best $2 grease lamp fuel I have ever seen. Murray's 100% pure Australian bees with, oh, it says Murray's beeswax with 100% Australian beeswax. I would say that that's some kind of hair pomade or mustache wax of some kind, but for two bucks, you can't beat that with a stick. That thing's still burning strong, and now it's been 11 minutes. Guys, it's been 15 minutes, and that thing is still burning in there, in that shelter. That is unreal. I, all I did was use about, I'm going to say, a silver dollar size portion of that on some jute twine and I would say that cattail fluff would work just as easy with no doubt or any kind of fibrous material like that I you know, there's no way that I will not carry that in my backpack because that will be a good coal extender for starting fires it's a good lamp material it's got wax in it and it's got petroleum in it so it's good for keeping my tools from rusting it's good to use for a lubricant for sharpening I mean the, the multi-purpose of that stuff is unbelievable for what it costs. You can use it for a lip balm. You can use it to cover a wound. 
none of that stuff's going to hurt you any. And it's unbelievable that that material will burn for that long just mixing it together like that. I am really, really impressed with this, guys. Two bucks, Dollar General. Murray's Beeswax. Real quick, guys, on this uh, grease lamp that we were, had going in the shelter, I want to show you guys this thing. It's burned out now. It took 19 and a half minutes for this thing to burn out. All right? Like I said, multi-use items. This is the item that I use as my bearing block on top of my fire bow and drill set. And all I did, this was a rock that, I, that my son found in a creek that already had a little hole in it, and I just pecked it out with a harder rock to make a round hole, and then as I used it, it's made out of like limestone, so as I used it, it wore a nice round hole in there that's probably about, I don't know, um, I'm going to say it's a centimeter deep, and probably the size of a nickel in diameter, in case you can't tell by looking at this on video. And all I did was take a swab, a little pile, maybe the size of a dime, of twine, and just dipped it inside this pomade stuff right here, where this wax is. And then I just filled up the bottom of this with that wax off my finger, just swiped it in there, stuffed that right on top of it, and lit it on fire with a cigarette lighter, and it burned for over 20 minutes, guys. Or right out 20 minutes. That's a lot of bang for your buck, considering... I hardly used any of this stuff in this process. I mean, I hardly used... There's probably enough in here to do that 20 times. 400 minutes of constant light for $2. Anyway, I wanted to share that tip with you guys today because uh, I found it pretty awesome. When I find something like that, I definitely want to share it with my viewers and supporters. My name is Dave Canterbury from the Pathfinder School, and I do appreciate your views and your support. Thank you very much.